Hello out there everybody, Manny here at Area 503, and I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I want to talk to you all about some very interesting news that I ran across concerning the NeoCam project. On April 21st, 2019, CoExpress.uk ran this article titled, NASA Asteroid Warning, Agency in Rush to Launch Asteroid Detecting Space Camera. The article reads, NASA is racing to launch its NeoCam Infrared Space Telescope in a bid to spot apocalypse asteroids before they barrel into the Earth. Back in Episode 8, I spoke about the NeoCam in a piece I did about the project's predecessor, which was called NeoWise. I will put a link to that video below, so you all can go check that out for yourselves if you haven't seen it. But anyhow, the article about NeoCam then goes on to talk about a growing sense of urgency among NASA scientists wanting to get NeoCam operational. So this makes me wonder, why the sense of urgency? The article answers this question by saying, quote, One thing is for certain. It is a question of when, not if, an asteroid will hit the Earth. It also goes on to state that NASA has already cataloged all the near-Earth objects of larger than 0.6 miles or 1 kilometer across, and that a new law was recently passed requiring NASA to find 90% of all asteroids larger than 460 foot or 140 meters in diameter by the year 2020. The article then states, quote, The U.S. Space Agency has admitted it will miss this deadline. Claiming that although 8,000 asteroids have been detected, experts expect twice as many are still undiscovered. And, even if one of those unknown asteroids is a danger to life on Earth, sending a spacecraft to intercept it would require a 10-year warning. So NASA has done an amazing job so far detecting these near-Earth objects. And the plan is to further refine this technology to locate smaller objects which is a pursuit that I fully endorse. The next part of the article talks about funding issues that NeoCam faced. At the end of 2018, the funding for NeoCam was in a sort of probationary status. It was officially set to be defunded, but had been given a special grant. And again, I spoke about a lot of this at the end of my NeoWise video, so check that out for some information on the history of this project. Well, for now, for whatever reason, it seems that the NeoCam project has been given a green light as far as funding goes, and it has been put on the fast track for mission deployment. The article then goes on to mention the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, or LSST, which is a wide-angle space-based telescope. The LSST will operate in unison with the NeoCam in order to detect all near-Earth objects. It's then stated that the best launch window for NeoCam seems to be in 2024, along with the IMAP IMAP, which is being deployed to study solar winds. So hopefully this project will be operational by then. And in the last part of the article, they talk about the importance of getting NeoCam operational so that it can help refine the data from the LSST and help scientists sort out targets for study. And I am going to link to the full article below so you all can check it out for yourselves and make up your own mind. But I just want to say how happy I am and excited that NeoCam is going to get funded and it seems like it's going to be operational soon. If you want to know why projects like NeoCam are important, Let's take a look at this wonderful animation that the Discovery Channel created to show the effects of a large asteroid impacting the planet. I think when you watch this, you're also going to be glad that NeoCam is going up to keep a lookout for us. NASA has the lofty goal of identifying 90% of asteroids larger than 140 meters or 460 foot in diameter by the year 2020 which is obviously not going to happen. But getting the NeoCam operational by 2024 
would be a great final date for this project. Then, if the opportunity presents itself to launch early, NASA can capitalize on it. Either way, I am relieved to know that NeoCam seems to have secured its funding. It certainly appeared to me at the end of 2018 that this project might just get terminated. Well guys, that's all I got on the NeoCam project for now, but I'll be sure to follow up later. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503, and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth.